asking for work from home arrangements for decades, and we don't want to see them go anywhere. You've probably seen Elon Musk says remote work is no longer acceptable. Amazon CEO plans to bring employees back to office. But have you read articles like this? Surge in remote working due to COVID fuels record employment for people with disabilities. The ability to work from home has revolutionized the way the world works. And work from home options have also had a huge impact on the disabled population's ability to work. Acceptance of remote work has been a game changer for people with disabilities. While remote work is not new, I personally have been doing it for well over a decade. The global experiment we were thrown into in 2020 showed scared employers that most employees in administrative or office jobs can work from home without disruption to workflow. This finally proved to employers that work from home was a great option to not only save money on real estate costs, but also hire a more diverse and experienced workforce including some disabled people that have been begging for remote work options for decades. In late 2022, the Economic Innovation Group published data from a survey showing people with disabilities in their prime working years, age 25 to 54, are 3.5 percentage points more likely to be employed in the second quarter 2022 than they were pre-pandemic. In contrast, non-disabled individuals were still 1.1 percentage points less likely to be employed. There are many advantages for disabled people when working from home. One significant advantage is the ability to overcome physical barriers. Traditional workplaces can present challenges for disabled individuals, including inaccessible buildings, inaccessible transportation, and the lack of proper workplace accommodations. Remote work offers flexibility and accommodations that are vital for people with disabilities. From flexible hours to customized workspaces, Cases, these policies empower people with disabilities to adapt their work environment to their specific needs. This flexibility enables us to manage our medical appointments and procedures, therapy sessions, and personal responsibilities effectively. Contrary to misconceptions by managers and executives, work from home often boosts productivity and employee engagement for disabled individuals. In 2015, before the world shutdown of 2020, a Stanford Business peer-reviewed study showed that work from home led to a 13% performance increase. Working from home makes it so you can create your own comfortable and accessible work environment. Remote work minimizes distractions and enhances focus. Additionally, collaborative tools and digital platforms facilitate seamless teamwork so no one misses out. Work from home policies allow people with disabilities to fully engage and contribute their skills and expertise while they are comfortable in their accessible space. It also helps everyone achieve a greater work-life balance. This can be especially difficult for disabled individuals due to our additional medical needs and personal responsibilities. But work from home offers a better work-life integration. I know more recently there have been several CEOs of large companies demanding that work from home cease to exist within their companies. But clearly these CEOs don't care about research data, their employees' needs and wants, or the strain they will place on their disabled employees. I've been a business and marketing strategy consultant for over 20 years, and I've also been disabled the entire time. Some days I can work, but I just can't change out of my PJs. Other days, I can work a full eight hours in office, no problem. But regardless of what I can do in any day, I work hard, efficiently, and I'm always dedicated to completing my work tasks. Allowing flexibility of work from home gives companies access to dedicated talent in the disabled population that they didn't have before. We have been asking for work from home arrangements for decades, and we don't want to see them go anywhere. Squashing all remote work will strain the disabled workforce. Some executives and managers may not see the disabled workforce as a positive thing for their company, but this is unfounded thinking. In 2018, 
Accenture did a study that found that businesses actively employing people with disabilities generate 28% higher average revenues than those that did not. Given the current state of the economy and social change towards diversity, it's worth keeping remote policies in place. This allows for workplace diversity and inclusion. Disabled people have a lot of experience outside of what's needed for the job at hand. And that contributes a lot to our value within a company. And it's important to note that the 2020 event that rocked the planet is leaving many healthy, hardworking individuals disabled with chronic disease. If we want to continue working towards more inclusive work environments, we need to be able to make adaptations so that our disabled workforce can continue working. So these are just some of my thoughts as to why I believe that work from home should continue to be an option, especially for disabled individuals. It allows us access to jobs that we didn't have before. And we've been wanting this for decades. We want to get the word out to try to keep work from home an option. If you found this video valuable, please consider sharing it and subscribe. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.